this is as I started a new channel with your questions to see how best we can help you watch with your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get into the video. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, announced changes to simplify and improve how the agency communicates case processing time data to the public. As part of an agency-wide commitment to improve transparency, efficiency, and customer service, and changes also make it easier for individuals to get an immediate answer on when they can make an inquiry in their case into their case. USCIS is committed to listening to applicants and stakeholders in continuously improving our services, said USCIS Director Erm M. Jadu. She also said this is an important step and by no means the last in improving clarity and transparency of USCIS data for the public. The agency's publicly posted processing times provide the public with the information necessary to understand how long it may take USCIS to process a particular form. For a single case, the processing time is defined as the number of months that elapses between the date USCIS receives the application, petition, or request and the date USCIS issues a decision. The estimated processing time for a particular form is based on how long it took USCIS to approve or deny a certain percentile of completed cases in that form over the process month period. Users can now immediately find the processing time information for their particular type of case, rather than seeing in and aggregate all related case types. Let's know the additional changes. 1. Adding drop-down options for form categories will help narrow results to only the processing times that are relevant to a case and help the user understand their particular situation. 2. Adding a case inquiry to where the user can insert their receipt dates and get an immediate answer on whether they should contact us with questions about their particular case. If so, benefit requesters will be provided a link to submit a case inquiry online. 3. Displaying a single 80th percentile processing time to simplify the information provided and improve the ability of users to estimate how long it is likely to take USCIS to process the benefit requests. 4. Revising, streamlining, and adding more content to the processing times web pages to increase transparency, including a new frequently asked questions page and an improved more information page. Processing times are meant to be used as a reference point rather than an absolute measure of how long it will take to process a particular case. Each case is unique and some cases take longer than others to process depending on the facts of the particular case. USCIS hosted a national listening session in March related to this issue and the agency seeks and encourages the public input so they can continue to improve how we display processing times in a meaningful and helpful way. For more information, please visit USCIS.gov. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people will want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or hit on the notification bell for more immigration. Bye!